Hey, bestie, what's up? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. Today we're gonna do a summer reflection. Let's just catch time. Let's just catch up like we're besties on FaceTime. It's been a while. It's been like a month. We've been talked. What have you been up to? So generally sad that summer's ending. And I'm happy that I'm sad because when I first started this, I was scared to start the summer. I really wanted to spend a summer in New York, but it was like my first time spending, like living here for a full year. I like at the start of the summer was still kind of figuring out like who like my friends, friends were. And I was like rock talking this like by myself when I didn't anticipate to be doing that. So I was really nervous to start the summer, but now that it's like end of August, August. I'm like so sad the summer's ending. I have to go back to school. I have to start classes again. It has been a good like three May, June, July, like four months. So I'm excited to just talk about like how my summer was as well as just share like things that helped me get through this summer. So for context, I did not anticipate to uh, when I decided I was gonna spend the summer here, like, I was just in a different like place in my life where I thought I had a support system that I was gonna continue having throughout my time here, and not just in the summer, but then my next year. And that specific support system is gone. I had one month of school left, and I was like, after that, the summer starts. And my biggest fear that I was facing was the idea of being alone. And I was like, I... Don't know if I could do it. Like being in a new city, of course I've been at that point in New York for I think seven months. I'm like trying to do the math, eight months. And I, you know, like had friends, but I, I was like, are these people I'm going to like be seeing throughout the summer? I don't know if I was gonna be here. And then my family was across the country. And I was like, I don't know if I could do this. Like I was like really stressed and really scared and very emotional about it. Oh my God, I can't get out. And I just remember I went home for the first few days of May and to be with my family. And then I was like, okay, like I'm gonna get back to New York and I don't know like what experience is awaiting me. And I was really, really nervous. I was really scared. I was kind of sad. Like, I don't know how this is gonna be. I saw some friends when I was at home too. I looked for one day. Having them and seeing them, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is what summer could be like if I was in Seattle working or if I went home, like it'd be so different. I'd have my support systems all there. But then like surprisingly, I came back to New York and everything that I was like scared of happening didn't happen. <laughs> like it was really honestly like the best case scenario. It was more of the anxiety leading up to it than the actual experience. I honestly thought I was just gonna have the most emo, lonely girl, like isolated summer and just be sad like the entire time. I'm really like happy to be at this place right now knowing how I was feeling in early May and knowing that it did not go the way worst case scenario that I was thinking about. What, what, what made my summer not what made my summer the best case scenario that I was hoping for? So one, like my number one goal this summer was I wanted to have a very like wellness, well-rounded experience. I have been a person who like kind of can get over the top when it comes to wellness and it can be like overwhelming for myself. I'm like constantly trying to do this. Like let me journal every day. Let me exercise every day. Let me eat healthy. Let me do all these things. No sleep. Bus. Club. Another club. Another club. And like those are all great things I need to do to live like a good and healthy life. But there's also like that overload. Like I would listen to self-help podcasts every day and listen to multiple episodes and it would just feel like my brain is like, the wheels are stopped. They're not turning anymore, babes. Like relax, relax, babes, you're doing too much. This time around, I was like, okay, I am going through a life transition. We're transitioning to a new chapter. And I kept hearing people say like, your next chapter is gonna be so good. And I'm like, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I do not feel like it. I believed them and I believed in myself to be 
brave and I wanted to be brave and I kind of like had that mantra in my brain where like on my birthday I was talking to my mom and she was like you need to like still make this birthday like something fun something to remember because you will only turn this year once it's not something you can get back like I cannot waste this day I cannot waste this year I cannot waste this life on like things that happen and I think like in life unfortunately like a lot of bad stuff will happen that's like just out of your control. It's not the situations that happen to us that define us, it's how we respond. Or this summer, it's like, this is a new chapter. I want something that's going to fill me up in a way that I haven't had before or something that I haven't returned to in a while. First thing I did was I made a mood board. I love Pinterest. I would love to be a Pinterest ambassador, influencer. I don't even know if they have Pinterest influencers. I love Pinterest, I have so many freaking boards. But the first thing I did, I watched this video about like, like she was like, make a mood board. But what do you want your summer to look like? So I did. And we'll talk about some stuff I did this summer that kind of helped. I made a New York City summer mood board. I'll just go over some stuff that I had in my mood board. First things I have pinned is a notes that's a solo date ideas. One thing I wanted to do was kind of fall into this new sense of independence. I wanted to feel like if at the end of the day, I'm all by myself. I like myself. I like spending time with myself. I know what interests I have. I do think having the summer for myself has been really great for my growth and that mindset. Well, I did a lot of walking, which walking was one of the things I wanted to do. Hot girl summer, hot girl walks. I have some friends that I go on walks with. I walk to a lot of different places just for fun. I'd walk just because I didn't want subway. Doing that, one, is great for my physical health, but was great for my mental health. I'm not kidding, that like little TikTok thing, taking a stupid walk for my stupid mental health. Honestly, it does something. Cause I go on walks, I put AirPods in and I record myself and just talk. I pretend I'm on a podcast. The sun gives so much good vibes. Another thing that I had on my mood board was reading. I have read so much this summer. I changed my goals for books from 12 to 24 and I'm on like book 17 right now, but I'm hoping to like surpass it, but I'm trying to be realistic with how classes will be starting. I'm gonna be more busy. I also am trying to get in my bag. I'm trying to save money. I think I'm doing an okay job. Finally have like done like a breakdown of like, okay, this money goes here, this money goes there. But I just have to get another job. Um, I need a job for fall. The other thing I was doing was gardening and I've shared that like on in other videos. I love touching dirt. I love learning like random facts about gardening stuff. It's something like, it's New York City. There's like, I don't have my own garden. I do have plants that I'm keeping alive. I've never really had a green thumb. I've always killed my plants so I've been keeping alive. So I'm really trying to get more of my green thumb. There was one day that I got um, some veggies and, from the garden and then I cooked them. And I just love the idea of picking food out of the ground and then using it to cook. It feels just very one with the earth. And that's something I really want to keep doing. But we'll see how that changes. Pickleball, love, love, love pickleball. I was so scared to start, but I love it. It's just a fun little game to play with your little girlies and your little friends and all that. I just like it and it's free. So we just show up and play. That was the other thing, trying to find free things to do. Cause I'm like, I don't need to spend money every time I hang out with my friends. I just don't think so. Pickleball is a great goody old time. <sighs> Yawning girl. I only got like six hours of sleep today but we're going strong. So we have the mindset, we have the mood board. The next thing I think that really made this summer what I needed it to be was also just the people, honestly. Like, it's like felt the shift where everyone became like, oh, I have to like get this work done to, I have no work, let's have fun. It like felt like an opportunity to like get to know some of the people I've, I've known so far in the year that like I was becoming friends with, but like we haven't really had the capacity or the time to do a lot of the stuff that we started doing. And it really helped me become closer friends with these people, which was like, okay, like I was scared that I wouldn't have a community that I could fall on. <sighs> it's easy to say this like on a good day. I think it's harder to feel this way when things are going rough, but life unfolds in a way that it's supposed to. Or at least when I was like having a harder time, I was like, I don't know, like if this is what will happen and this will happen. And now I look and I'm like, okay, like everything happened the way it was supposed to. I feel like this summer was everything I needed and more. I feel more confident in myself. I feel beautiful. I feel brave. I feel great. 
and I am a little nervous though going into the fall. I have built this like pretty, like I have pretty loosey goosey routine right now. I don't have like really any stressors going on right now. I don't really have deadlines and I'm about to transition out of this like chill vibe. I'm popping my toes right now. I'm about to transition out of this chill vibe and go into this environment where I'm like, okay, I'm taking two classes and I might be hard. There's a day I have school from 8.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. 12 hours of classes. And yes, there's like two hour breaks in between, but still love uh, 12 hours of class. I had to pack breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So what we're gonna do though is never give up, never back down. Now we're gonna just make a new move board, have a new mindset, have some like perspective on like, okay, like I will be stressed out. We're gonna learn more, we're gonna adapt, we're gonna change, and it's gonna work out. Never give up! Oh, I'm gonna miss walking around in a tank top and shorts and no jacket, but I love I loved the summer. I loved the summer and I was so nervous and it all worked out. So tell me, what have you been up to?